Impact. What's up, Impact fam? It's Coattails, and this week we're going to talk about sodium. So everyone has a ridiculous amount of sodium in their diet, not on purpose, just through eating processed foods, eating out at restaurants, America in general, their sodium levels are ridiculously high. Um, people who exercise moderately to vigorously should be at 2,000 milligrams a day, and the average like sedentary American is at triple that. Um, we only need 500 milligrams, our bodies only need that to function, so you know we're getting way over what we need. Um, what happens is excess sodium in the body um, causes the blood pressure to go up because it holds um, excess fluid, um, which is then hard on your heart. So it can increase your chances for cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, um, kidney disease, stomach cancer. So it causes a lot of bad stuff that we don't really want. So we should probably try and monitor that a little bit better. And um, ways that you can be conscious of that is to just make sure that you're staying away from the processed stuff, um, going for all of the um, unprocessed items. So fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, lean meats, um, unprocessed grains are all gonna get you um, the right amount and not put you over the recommended dosage. Um, as far as seasonings go, you it's really difficult to find something that's low sodium. So what I like to use is Mrs. Dash. Um, my favorite one that I just started using is Fiesta Lime. Um, it's just like taco seasoning, but way less sodium, so it's better for you. So I put this on my ground turkey when I'm making uh, the egg muffins or whatever, tacos, taco salad. It's really good. Um, I have four flavors here. They've got spicy, they've got stuff for chicken, stuff for steak, all of that kind of, you know, seasoning stuff that everyone needs for their kitchen. So if you have any more questions about staying low sodium, hit me up, Haley at GoImpactStrength.com. Thanks, guys.